There's two things that I really like. One is Star Wars. The second is battle simulator games. And the third is cheeseburgers. Now, on May the 4th, they added what they call the battle grid, as well as combat challenges, to Jedi Fallen Order. Now, battle grid is... Well, let's go check it out. This is actually... I'd like to call this battle simulator mode. I know they call it battle grid because EA will be EA. But the force is strong with this battle simulator. So we can choose different arenas. We've got a number of them. Fortress Inquisitorius. That's a giant Vader, by the way. And this is pretty cool because I actually haven't played through all of these levels. It's a long story. But here's the beautiful thing about it. I can put in anybody I want in any amount I want. Well, so long as they fit this grid. And you can make the grid as big or as small as you want it. And we've got everything from different xenomorphs, droids, stormtrooper variants. And then there's even the bosses, right? So look at this, we want the Empire, and you know that we want it. You could even put Stormtroopers in towers if you want it. But I think the first thing we need to do is place, oh my gosh, just... Now presently, there's only really two ways to play. One is to have a giant free-for-all of enemy combatants by using no factions. And you can kind of do battle simulator mode by turning on spectator. But one of my favorite things to do is to make it an absolute free-for-all where I'm actually in it as well. But say we wanted to see, hey, who's like the worst stormtrooper there is? <laughs> we could do that. And now I basically wake from my meditation and I'm like, hey guys, why don't all of you just start fighting each other? <laughs> and look at this, man. The dude's got a freaking like laser flamethrower. And I'm just chilling here while they fight. Explosions are going off. Scout troopers are getting absolutely blasted in the face. This dude just got shot in the tuchus and he doesn't have the presence of mind to be like, hey, Maybe there's some dude behind me. Whoa, whoa. I don't know what that is. I'm kind of new to the game, which is a little bit ironic. And you, sir, you are the champion. Wow. So the scout trooper with the little like plasma baton, and now he's gonna kind of walk off. And this is the part where it's like, hey, what's it feel like to be a champion? He's like, what? And then we can go back to edit layout. And you know what? If, if we wanted to be like a little bit crazy, we could go into like non-spectator mode. I could modify it. All enemies are hostile. But we like no factions mode. I, I would love to be able to set little battles like if there wasn't these points, right? Because right now they treat it as a training simulator. And I want this to be a true battle simulator. What's up, boys? What are you looking at? Oh, God, that's the flamethrower. Yeah, let, let's go ahead and run. Yeah, attack each other. And then I can just come in and be like, hey, dude, what's up? You're dead. You know, I can do a little bit of that. And then this guy, I'll give him a chance. Oh, you won't. I won't stop what? And then I'll just, you know, a nice little rat a tat and get that guy in the face. So once again, let's go back to the edit layout because we've got something called an ATST. And I want to see how good these things are. And when you think about how many points they cost, like an ATST costs more than the ninth sister. Or the second sister. Oh, security droids. Definitely want to see these guys versus some stormtroopers. But we've also got the purge troopers. So just for the sake of sheer awe, let's watch these guys in combat. It's interesting though, I, it often will be that one person just won't be looking the right way. And he just like is not at all aware of what's happening. So a lot of times they can be caught off guard. Look at this. Oh! You gotta move out of the way when he swings the warhammer like that. Oh! But yeah, man, imagine, like, if you could modify these droids to have, like, their weapons. You gave them, like, a Boba Fett-style jetpack or something like that. There's a lot of possibilities of where, like, this could go. I doubt it will, because I know that LucasArts, you know, like, keeping the lore intact, I guess? A lot of times they don't allow for just pure sandbox moments, right? Even this, which could be considered, like, a Star Wars battle simulator, is not. I mean, Disney's like that in general, right? It's a meditation training program for you to be a Jedi. That being said, it's still pretty awesome to watch this stuff. Hey, buddy, you having a bad time? Look at that. He's got red bottoms on. Life is good. Well, I guess not really. He's dead. And there we go. A droid just tumbled. And so now we got the two hammer bros. <laughs> and by that, I mean only one. There can be only one. But I want to be able to use one of these weapons. I'll say this, guys. Jedi Fallen Order is still only the second best Star Wars Jedi game ever made. But we could have bounty hunters in here, which kind of are reminiscent of Mandalorians. There's these Tomb Guardians. And I mean, I can even have a, an Imperial R2-D2 astromech droid in there. 
And I know they're not R2-D2s, but it's funny. And this poor soul. So look at these giant tomb guardians. Oh my gosh. All right, bounty hunters, what are you going to do? Look at that, man. They got jetpacks. Got freaking incredible powers here. Look at the, the blaster coming out of this guy's chest. I mean, this is some serious, like... And I'm glad that they did put this mode in because they didn't have to. They didn't have to take Jedi Fallen Order and just, like, put it to the 10th power. Oh, man. Bounty Hunters versus Bounty Hunters is pretty awesome. Look at that guy. <laughs> Where did he go? He just got absolutely blasted. And then these guys are just kicking each other in the nuts, like... No, you die. No, you die. And the way you get access to this is like where you have to have beaten the game before and then you just meditate. Go to meditation training and voila, there it is. There's also the combat challenges, which we can check out if you want. But the question I want to present is like, it'd probably take a while to figure out, but who is the ultimate fighter in Star Wars? So we're going to go to the Inquisitor's Fortress here. Fortress Inquisitorious. Because like, who can win? Inquisitor Cal? or the second sister. No factions, spectator mode is on. Who will win? Place your bets. Oh my God, they immediately go after each other. Twin lightsabers versus two lightsabers. You really wish you could get like Darth Maul and like Kaidamundi, I know, right? An obscure Jedi, but like, what if you could get like all of the different Jedis, all of the different Sith, any character you wanted from any bit of the Star Wars universe? Would you want to do that just to have like this kind of thing? Like, whether it could be, quote, Jedi training. Oh my god, look at them fish. They're sharky fish. Now, this is... Let's... Yeah, I know, right? There's a battle going on, but this is quite impressive. The scenery that you can fight in. And then if they had just, like, a free camera mode, it'd be really cool. Because right now, it definitely looks like... Uh-oh. What was that? What, what'd you guys do? It, he kind of, like... She broke him for a little bit. The second sister. But some of these battles can last quite a while. But the fact that the AI is going at it using force powers, doing their lightsaber mastery tricks. Oh, that looked like it hurt. And then you can see the battle scarring on the battlefield while they're fighting. It's pretty dope. But man, like having like Yoda versus Count Dooku. I mean, I, I, I like the, the Clone Wars a lot. There's a lot of things I wonder. It's like, man, I mean, I guess that's what happens, though, when one company controls all the Star Wars IP for video games, right? Other than maybe, like, some select mobile titles. I'm not entirely sure. Ooh, the music's dope. Hun ding dong. Jeez. Yeah, but needless to say, if you were to do a 1v1 of all these, it could take quite a while just to see who would win. But if I could pick anything, I definitely would want a battle simulator mode. This looks like there's a little bit of an error right there. The animation's broken. Whoa, 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 I'm not a part of this. Hey guys, how are you doing? Why can't we be friends? Oh my God. But I think this is a nice touch. And I'm curious if re EA and Respawn... Oh, that was supposed to be the killing animation. Well, that's unfortunate. Some things clearly need to be worked on here. Say we wanted a Tomb Guardian versus the Ninth Sister. Both big, bad mamma jammas right here. Who wins there? Tomb Guardian! You better watch out, dude! That's it! Oh, you... Come to think of it, if Disney would warrant this for Star Wars via Electronic Arts, do you think that they could do something like this for Marvel? In... Oh, oh my god. That would be an incredible game. Look at the just lit... Oh, man. You look like you're about to cut and be cut in half. Which you probably should, but, you know, like I said, some things from the Star Wars universe we may never really get to see in video games. Like, portrayed accurately. Oh! But some things... And then look at the, the little dude just, like, kind of, like, looking... That's awesome. I don't know, man. One can dream, one can imagine. Lots of possibilities. Oh, and the ninth sister just took out the tomb guardian. All right. All right. Face the camera. How do you feel? How does it feel to be victorious? Teach me Jedi Padawan ginger what it's like to be a victor. And then there's also the possibility of like things that you wouldn't really see. Like you wouldn't see the second sister versus the ninth sister surrounded by a bunch of scout troopers. And like, what if there was like Easter eggs? Like, oh, I, I clearly messed this up. Hey guys, hold on. Let's edit this layout real quick. All right. But imagine, like, if you could force push a stormtrooper and crack that glass, and, like, the water would start filling in, and there'd be sharks and stuff. And I think that we will never, ever, ever see. Because, hey, it's, it doesn't really look like glass now, does it? Oh, gosh. These poor stormtroopers. Oh. 
just absolutely savagely destroyed. And now we get to see number two versus number nine. That is one big lightsaber. I mean, if you think about it, like, in boxing, it's like boxers, you, you have to measure their reach. The reach of the ninth sister is incredible. However, we got Floyd Mayweather, the second sister, with her agility just jumping around, absolutely bullying the other one. Oh! Yeah, like, I want to be able to get up there and operate this, this laser battery. It looks too small to be a turbo laser, but it looks big enough to just, like, put some serious concussive force against anyone holding a lightsaber. Probably to where they couldn't deflect it straight back at me. Oh my god, like, what is happening? Ooh. Now, I'm not entirely sure how long this battle can go, but I've heard that there's actually a character in this mode that is invincible and can't be beaten. Ooh. Jedi Force abilities. The force is strong with these ones. Look at that. They're twirly twirly McGurlington over here. Oh, he did the helicopter move. Now imagine if I took off spectator mode and I had to fight these guys together. So what I want you guys to do is think of all the different units and who you want to see fight. Let me know in the comments which ones you want to see fight, how many of what. That looked like, oh, you just got kicked in the nuts. But there are some uh, connectivity issues. Oh, oh man, that looks like you just your your spine is contorting in a way that is definitely not natural at all. I, I can't imagine what's happening with your spine and rib cage. And then the fame goeth to the victor right here. Look at her just walking off, thinking she's as cool as Darth Vader. You ain't. And we don't want to save that battle grid because it's largely garbage. But look at this. So now with, there's the combat challenges, which is also pretty cool. So we got five different ways. Fend off treacherous force fauna and the empire. And I like how they call it like fauna. It's like the animals. So we'll go to the first one, Kashyyyk, the home world of the Wookiees. Oh, okay. We got giant rams. Okay. That's, uh oh. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, you look like slug rams. Oh my God. That's exactly what you are. He's just vomited acidic bile. Well, luckily they're stupid and slow, but I should be able to just cut their heads off. You know what I mean? Oh. Here we go. <laughs> it's only the killing animation. And that's why this isn't like a 10 out of 10 game for me. It's still really, really good. Okay, really good. You see this? I should be able to chop this thing into pieces like, oh, that looks like it hurts. Ouch. Now does my health go back to full? No, it does not. Oh, what's up little mosquito thingies? All right, sniper boys, what do you got for me? I'm, wa I'm waiting for your shots. And my Jedi abilities are a little bit limited right now. Oh, he's reloading. What's up, flamethrower? <laughs> it's the flamen for It verfs the flamen. Oh, man, my arm's on fire, dude. That's rude. And he's like, oh, wait, it's jammed. And then you beat it. And then it goes on. But you can see why I'm enjoying this so far. The battle simulator mode. Oh, God. That's scary. Giant spiders attacking Jedis. Only in this game. Uh-oh. So needless to say, guys, if you'd like to see more, and you have a custom battle that you'd like to see acted out in Jedi Fallen Order Battle Grid, aka Battle Simulator Mode, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one.